And welcome back, this is Baller School with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3. I'm joined as always by my faithful squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sack. When we last left off, we got the Moon Ring Blade, which I didn't even bother equipping because it was not very good. It's uh, good for a thief, I right hear. I'm sure there's a couple other classes that could use it, but it's not good for any of my party members. Yeah. What are you going to do? We're going to keep going. Hopefully we can find some better items for my party. And new enemies? Yes, new enemies. Here we have an Oceanus. Okay. I'm going to use Thunder on it. As well as Aeroga. And that is why, if you remember last time, we got a full heal after the boss. I have no problem using my highest level attacking magics at all times. Because... We're gonna get a full heal pretty damn soon anyway, so might as well go all out in every battle. Why not? Is Aroga going to finish the Sea Serpent off? How is it a Sea Serpent in space? I don't know, but down it goes thanks to 2,000 damage. I might have classed as flying actually. We get 6,800 gil, 3,150 experience, a job level up for Bloon. Nice, nice, nice. Let's keep going then. I choose up and left. And here, I find a treasure chest with an Omni Rod. Now that is actually a weapon for Novin, I believe. Only Novin can use it. Inflicts gradual petrification, but look at that. He can finally do some actual attacking. What do you know? I'm still not going to use him for that, but he could if he wanted to, apparently. And was, yeah, inflicts gradual petrification, which... Really? At this point of the game, is that really what I need to be doing? Petrifying my enemies? But over to the right, we get... What is this? It's a blade. I like blades. What do we have in here? This is the Masamune. The Mystic Blade. I want it. Defeat me, and I will be yours to wield. I will take you on. Let's do it. The Masamune is a check. It's a Kudoichi, I think. I'm gonna deal earth damage to you. Air... Yeah, air damage. And then boost. I was about to say, um, I remember... Yeah, let's just boost. I remember this one in particular, I think, gets three strikes. So I was thinking about curing. Yeah, it gets to attack three times in a row. I am seriously hoping that I can get a... I can get a heal off before before her turn shows up. Uh, because Novin might die because she attacked him twice. Uh, let's go for Drain just in case he goes first. And then Kiraga on everybody. One more boost. Probably didn't need to do the second boost because, you know, seeing how much physical damage Abel is doing, possibly did not need to do it. Damn it. Don't, don't hit. Sweet. But they got poisoned. Oh, Abel almost died. Damn it. Okay, I do got this Kirog. This Kirog coming up. Nice. He's almost at full health already. Jeez, man. That drain ability. But I wouldn't worry about the poison. Just let it sit there. It doesn't do that much damage. Plus, let's go for bio. You get the full heal afterwards, and that does cure status elements. Let's just go for a cure Aga since she seemed to be going last anyway. And then we'll go for the attack from Sackman. Hopefully that'll be enough to take off Kunoichi. I don't know who that's supposed to be. I don't know if that's some legendary warrior of Japan, Kunoichi, but, oh, don't, 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 Aroga. Okay, on everybody, is it going to be enough to take out Abel? No, no, you, yes, you lose. Enough for Sackman to come in and deal max damage for the win. Down goes Kunoichi. And for that fight, we get 14,500 gil, 7,300 experience, a job level up for Sackman. And a black hole, which is about an 8% drop, so I'll be happy to take it. 
Uh, Konoichi has the, the Black Hole Lilith's Kiss Raven John combo with a high potion that you could steal if you wanted to. To me, I'm not even going to go over those anymore because they're so common. But we get the Masamune, which I will take and try to equip because we are full healed once again. Is, come on, you, that's got to be better than the Kikuichi Mungies. Thank you, effective against dividing enemies as well. Up by 17. I will take it. It's about time you give me an upgrade. Let's keep going. What else are you going to give me? Uh, oh, I, was, I went that way already. I forgot. Let's keep going south here. New enemy, new enemy. What do we got this time? This is Acheron. Let's go for a Quake. Aroga, once again, just, just going all out. Because there are so many times that I get to heal in this dungeon because of all the boss fights. Now, spoiler alert, there's more. We haven't gotten to some of the awesome swords, weapons, and that kind of stuff in this game. Masamune is usually up there, though, with the best. The best swords in the game. So I am happy to take it. Down goes, uh, whatever his name was. I've already forgotten because it's not important. We get 6,600 gil, 3,000 experience, and we're going to keep going. Keep going. I require more weapons, more treasure, another phoenix down. Not needed, but I will take it. Come on, show me another chest. Pedestal, give me, give me something. Let's go this way. Back up here. Oh, and all the way around. I have a feeling that I missed something. But I didn't miss anything, so let's just keep going right. And down here... Oh, another sword. Hopefully, Abel can equip this one, because of course he's the only one I can use swords. Oh, it's Excalibur, the legendary sword. Let us see if your light burns brighter than mine. Are we going to fight King Arthur for this thing? That is not King Arthur. That is like Genghis Khan right there. That is the general. We didn't have too much of a problem with him, but yeah, that's the general. Let's go for Aroga first. And a boost. You know, basic strategy should work across the board. Abel is doing more damage than Sackman now because of that mass moving upgrade. Uh, there's 3,000 damage there. Holy crap, he does a lot of damage. But he only attacks twice, so I'm not all that concerned unless he, you know, uses both attacks on the same person. Then that could be a problem. But he's not doing that right now. Alright, 1600 damage in. And then let's go for another bio. And curing. And. Yeah, one more boost. Not quite. Yeah, not even uh, 5,000 damage there. Huh. Alright. Go boost! And then... Drain. How, how dare you heal yourself for 800? Holy crap, that's, that's quite a bit. Not as good as when Novin does it, but still, that's quite a bit of damage and healing that he gets done. That's a 1600 point turnaround, damn it. Let's go for more bio. Uh, you'll go for another Kiraga just in case, and then you can attack. You'll probably do max damage this time. How much damage does he do? The max. And down goes the general! Yeah, I was very scared about going into this dungeon, but it's working out very well for me. We get 15,600 gills, 7,500 experience, a job level up for Abel, job level up for Novin, job level up for Sackman, and no items. Well, he's got his high poaches anyway. Maybe a phoenix down, but still. We get the Excalibur for our trouble. Can I equip that? That is usually the best weapon in the game. Especially in the early Final Fantasies, that is usually it. The Excalibur. I want it. He cannot equip it. Uh, must be just for knights or, or something like that. Unfortunately, ninjas do not know the ways of the English knight. So we must keep going, and hopefully we can find more, more equipable items. That'd be appreciated. Let's go through here, and yeah, we're going to go left here first. 
I see another item that I want. This is the Elder Staff. Let's go ahead and try to get that. You must best me in battle if you wish to use me. The spirit within the staff attacks you. Is it an old man? I assume it is. No. No, and it's like, I don't know, a seven-headed dog I didn't count on. This is Scylla. Okay, this is straight out of Greek mythology. Didn't even get in a fight in the middle here. Let's go for a bio. Hiroga, and then we'll start healing after that. You go for a boost. 5,500 damage. So I should probably just use the one boost and then try to attack. See how it works after that. Go, bio! How much damage does that do? 3,000. Thun Doggo. Well, you, you, you kind of used it on the wrong guy there, but nicely done, I guess. Go Wind! Launch a tornado! Give me 1800 damage, nice. We'll take that. Another bio. Now we can start curing. Uh, now let's go for a second boost. We'll go for a second boost, just in case. And, for some reason, it doesn't seem to do as much damage the second time around when I attack. For whatever reason. Go, Bio! Thundaga again. On everybody. Should not do that much damage across the board. Yeah, six, 700 on my attackers. Not so much on the mages, because of course they do have the magic defense. And now we're pretty much back to full health. Go Bio. We'll go for Aeroga because Sackman's probably gonna finish this thing off when he attacks. Like right now, because damn, Abel got some massive damage in. Max damage from Sackman is enough for the win. Down goes Scylla. That's how I've always pronounced it. I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. Either way, we get 16,200 gil and 7,700 experience and a high potion. Which is awesome. That's about a 9% drop, but you yeah, know, whatever. Just high potions. Once again, we get Elder Staff, which is awesome and is equipable for Bloon. It's about time Bloon got an attacking item. It does cast Cura, uh, so if you if, if you want to cast Cura all the time, you could. Uh, but I don't think I need to do that right now, so I'm just going to equip it and check on time. It does look like we are out of time, so I will continue this dungeon and finish it off next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy III. I've been Bala Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Novin, Bloon, and Sackman. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.